News for Tucson Sports Director Paul Cicala showing us an alternative way of making tamales by using corn chips. Here's Paul from his kitchen. Welcome to the Casa de Cicala. This is where I live. This is my kitchen. And of course, this time of the year, everybody loves tamales right around Christmas time. But sometimes you just don't have all the ingredients you need for those tamales. So I'm going to have a poor man's version of tamales. I'm not going to lie to you. Some people will even call these prison tamales because in the commissary you don't have access to all of the ingredients you might need for regular tamales but here's the deal we got corn uh, chips here of course it's utilized in a sense like the masa would be used for tamales and I'll explain that a little bit more in a bit so we got the Steedos we got Doritos for different flavors we got some Cheetos with some flavor there but now here's how it all gets done first you grab yourself some tostitos right you want to open them up and you want to crush them up literally this is what you have to do. And you do that for a, a long period of time. As we put that masa on hold, we're gonna go ahead and put all our ingredients in. So here I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all of this chicken that I got. It's just basic chicken that you buy in a can like this. And of course, we got a lot of mozzarella cheese and I'm kind of just throwing them in and doing them as fast as I can just so you can get the picture. And of course, we have some sausage as well, just throwing that in. Also cut up a lot of uh, onions, there we go. And then of course, we have some chiles, we have jalapenos, throw them in. And of course I washed my hands beforehand, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix things up the best I can here. And also just a little bit of spice, I'm gonna use some sriracha, Let's throw some of that in there here. Now over here by the microwave, you wanna put this in for about six minutes. I have it at 555, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it right now. While the microwave is heating up many of the ingredients, now we'll utilize some hot water, fresh from the stove. So here we go. Right inside of the Doritos bag. You want to kind of move it around a little bit, get that in there. You really want to make it as fine as you can, if you will, kind of powdery. All right, after a few minutes, as you can see, it's truly getting very tamale-esque, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down like this. And these are chips, kind of like tamales now. We're gonna just go ahead and add all this meat and cheese and everything else that we put together. I'm gonna mix it all around. I know it doesn't look good now, but it will in a few seconds. And just like real tamales, you wanna wrap them. In this case, I'm utilizing this here just to kind of wrap everything in its own way. As you can see, I'll let you see this here and then this here as well. This is how it should look. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave one more time for another five minutes or so. Once we took it out of the microwave again, here it is, of course, the texture and everything looks just like a tamale. It is a tamale, but not in the traditional sense. Go ahead and taste it. Uh, not bad, of course. As mentioned, you can make this at home. If you don't have all the ingredients you need, and as mentioned, I'm not gonna lie, they call these prison tamales as well, but uh, hey, they're good for me, they're good for you, and try them sometime. I'm Paul Sikala reporting from my own kitchen, and uh, happy holidays. <laughs> Leave it up to Paul to make some prison tamales. Thank you for that. And today is for the weekend as we switch gears here. If you're looking